right, my loves, we are just going to jump straight in. Today is just a mishmash of a day. As you can see, I have to do a lot of laundry. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Ellie Wang. I'm an alignment coach as well as an actor singer. And if you have been watching my videos, welcome back. I have missed you. So right here, we are going to do some laundry. But today, my focus is to switch up some of the beautiful florals that we have in the home. I've got some new faux ones as well as some fresh stems that I really want to create a statement piece for the coffee bar. <laughs> the kitties always ask to go outside in the yard in the morning, especially when it's beautiful and sunny. As you can see right there, this is my home gym and the florals there are new, they're faux, but I don't like that particular vase there because I feel like it kind of disappears. So we're going to see what we can make of everything that we have. I'm just going to switch this out a little bit because I felt the left side was a little too cluttered and I think it works for now. <laughs> They did decide to go outside. Guys, if you don't already know, we just recently moved. Honestly, it's not recent anymore. It's like a year, but it still feels like yesterday. And it's just so nice to see the kitties and the puppy enjoy the deck, enjoy the backyard. They really have a quality of life here. So the pink florals have dropped off, but I loved the greenery behind the florals. They kind of look like flowers itself. So I kind of kept it, but I really want to refresh and maybe use those stems somewhere else. This little guy just woke up and he heard the kitties downstairs in the yard so I think he's going to join them in a little bit. Since I have fresh stems to deal with I just want to make sure there are no bugs or anything so we're going to work on the deck outside. <laughs> As mentioned before, I think I like this vase the best for my coffee bar. I've tried a couple of variations. So what I'm going to do now is just add these fresh stems in here, create a beautiful statement piece and see how it turns out. If you don't already know, we live in Peachtree City, so even the lot next to us, it's just really woods. So we see deer, we see rabbits, we also have a golf cart path right behind our fence there, and a lot of people have to kind of trim some of these bushes to make sure that it's clear, that we don't have it be a hazard as people are going super fast down the path. So instead of throwing away these stems, I love to pick them up and create something beautiful at home. By the way, if you're wondering, these faux floral stems are from the Dollar Tree. They have some really great stuff this year and paired with fresh greenery, they just look realistic and beautiful in my opinion. back in the gym, I decided to use the fresh stems that were originally in the coffee bar. The faux florals right here, they're also from the Dollar Tree. Love the look of them, but the stems are just too short. So I'm not entirely sure about this look. I might eliminate them in a little bit, but usually I like to sit on it, simmer on it, and then I'll make a final decision. With these, I decided to use them in my office, but the only thing is I really want a white vase for them, but the ones that I currently have are just too small. I kind of had to squish them. It looks beautiful, but I do change it around later, so stay tuned. <laughs> daddy doing oh wow first time huh seeing daddy mow the lawn it's that time of year okay so we've done quite a bit and cleaned the area oh look at my hydrangeas guys we got this yesterday and i am so happy 
I cannot wait till they start blooming and I mean these are blooms but obviously they're still really young and I got that for a reason so we can enjoy these a lot longer. I honestly have not ever had hydrangeas and my husband said that his nonna had them for years and years and years and they would always bloom and they would always just grow and they were just such great plants so he really requested real ones instead of faux ones. Nowadays they have super realistic hydrangeas that they make even with feel and they look stunning so I was like why not invest in faux ones but my husband's like please get the real thing so we did yesterday and it just goes so well on our deck purely because obviously we don't want to have direct sun and the front of the house has direct sun so the front of the house is looking really sad right now <laughs> but that's okay because majority of the time we are spending back here on the deck or indoors and this guys so we've had multiple cold fronts we even this morning and even now it's pretty chilly even though it's sunny and i've already killed two plants that i put out here and two are in rehab <laughs> Basically, rehab is sitting on my bathroom windowsill to recoup, to stay in the warmth. So I decided to get these from the Dollar Tree. And honestly, Dollar Tree this year has a really, really great selection of faux greenery. Obviously, for what you're getting for the price. I just really want to enjoy the look of it long term. So what I've done is I've gotten a few of these gotten another type of stem i don't know what this is obviously close up you know this is plastic but because i am mixing different textures as well as the lavender which is also from the dollar tree which i'm loving by the way i put this in a pot that already had soil just basically stuff them in and to be really honest i love the look of this so what we're gonna do now is go over to our neighbor's house. He's got such a great house. It's big and he lives by himself. But we're gonna pick up Layla. She's the husky. We call her the nanny for Ichigo. So she comes over pretty much every other day. She also gets bored because, you know, she doesn't have another dog to play with at home and he works from home all the time. And then he goes into the office on Wednesdays. Um, yesterday, he went back to Morocco for his mom's memorial and you know, it's a big thing for them, so we're gonna look after her for the next two weeks, which anyway is not abnormal. Hi, Layla, there she is. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, girl. Hi. Oh, she's not her sprightly self. She knows that her daddy's gone, but that's okay. Hi. Hi, you gonna come spend the day with us? So normally she does her morning walk with her daddy and they'll go down there or they'll go down there and they'll go all the way around. So if you saw my previous videos, you know that there's a golf cart path that goes behind our house and goes behind all these houses. So they do loops and then they come around and he drops her off. Chico is going to be so happy to see you. <gasps> oh, who's here? Okay, it's time to make the bed. I cannot function without making the bed. I don't know about you guys, but I love the feeling of a freshly made bed. Usually I make it super early in the morning, but because my husband has had some trouble sleeping, he had to sort of see if he could sleep in a little bit. So now that he's up, I just thought I would make it and get on with the day. guests over the other day and I didn't like the fact that you can look through and see the tape here so that's why I added this just to kind of like have everything be set in place but I don't like the look of this so since it's so big and it's pretty close to the sink what I want to do is add the leftovers of some of the Dollar Tree green florals because I think it's going to go better with this something about you that day the shimmering sound. The hill is not bad, not 
not bad. So what I had to do was push these down really hard into the tissue that was already in there because they were a little too tall. So once they were pushed in, all of these kind of took up space, which is great. I added the lamb's ear that was originally by the coffee bar, which sort of added a little more dimension. And these larger leaves obviously covered the tape up. So hopefully, now that it's pushed against the mirror and everything's kind of pushed to the front, these layers look pretty good. Okay, so I shopped my home and found a perfect size vase for these babies, but because it was black, I thought having it on the deck would be perfect. I still think they're a little sparse, so I will be adding something in a little bit, but look at this. I prefer this so much better. I love that it's creating a statement, but it's not too feminine, especially for a home gym. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So now that I have all of these beautiful faux florals, I decided to use one of the stems for my coffee bar, but I just felt it was just a little too much. I've already got a statement piece to the right, so I decided to turn it into this. I thought it was really cute, and instead of the picture, add some pop of color with these beautiful teacups. Let me know what you think. As you can see, the white florals did not go to waste. They landed in my office and I think it's perfect right there. When it comes to feminine decor, I think it's just so perfect for my office purely because it's a space that's just for me. So now that we've had a really, really long day, it is so time for coffee and cuddles. From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya, they treat me like a son anywhere I go. And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all. As always, guys, I am so grateful for you. I am so, so happy you hung out with me today. So let's go ahead and enjoy this cup of coffee on the deck. It's such a beautiful day. And then I can show you where the rest of the white florals ended up. I hope this video gave you some inspiration to add some florals to your home. I cannot wait to see how the home continually evolves throughout spring, but until next time, have a beautiful and abundant week. I cannot wait to see you then. Bye-bye. Passenger on board. Oh, there is beauty to enjoy.